Welcome everybody to the IPFS CAMP 2024 Public Records and Human Rights track. Um, in this session, we're gonna talk about how, how IPFS is being used to protect public records and support human rights worldwide. We'll have some amazing speakers who are using IPFS in real life to enable data and media to be preserved and accessed in applications that have a massive impact around the globe. Okay, so here's today's agenda. First up, we will have Begonia from Hala Systems. Um, she's going behind the lines in conflicts like the war in Ukraine, implementing IPFS as a part of a solution to ensure evidence is both accessible and admissible in legal proceedings. Natalie from Numbers Protocol at 11 o'clock, at 11 o'clock, will be demonstrating the tools they are building for journalists and others who want to preserve the integrity and provenance of images they capture. This year, nearly half the world's population is voting in a time when mis- and disinformation runs rampant. Natalie will be presenting some applications that can help against, rise, against the rising tides of those trying to blur the lines between truth and reality in high-stakes elections. She'll also be doing a demo with you. At 11.45, I'll be talking about the work that Starling Lab has done with journalism fellows over the past couple of years. Some examples are Black Voice News, who are enabling underserved communities to secure data to address racism as a public health crisis. The DJ and the War Crimes, published with Rolling Stone, is a complex piece of investigative journalism where we used distributed and cryptographic technologies to build a case against crim criminals photographed in the Bosnian War decades before. Lastly, I'll discuss Starling's collaboration with Numbers Protocol, where we both built tools for journalists covering elections around the world that help them both preserve media and collaborate on investigations in a year, where the uncertainty around deepfakes and disinformation is a threat to democracies around the world. Um, at 12.30, Joel Thorison will be sharing with us how Ceramic is building a data solution that's enabling the science community to access, disseminate, and secure scientific data sets. Paul from The Guardian Project will show us the open source F-Droid app store and powerful apps like Proof Mode and Proof Audio. Leveraging open, and open source and distributed tools like IPFS is making it possible for Guardian Project to create software that is solving real world problems for activists and advocates around the world. Last, I'll be doing a hands-on demo and workshop of some of the powerful apps and tools that Starling Lab is using that can prefer, preserve authenticity from glass to glass. That is the glass lens of a camera to the glass of the computer screen. We're creating provenance and integrity so we can preserve um, information when it's important. In this workshop, I'll be putting cell phones out around the room and you'll actually get to try out some of these tools, capturing media yourself with proof mode and proof audio, and then send the media to the Starling Integrity backend a powerful tool that enables us to build and add provenance to digital media, adding things like C2PA manifests, blockchain registrations, and bind this information to a CID of an image in Starling Lab's new data solution called Authenticated Attributes. So, kicking us off, I'd like to welcome Bukonia up from Hala Systems. <laughs> 